on the morning of September 19, 2019, an F-16 Fighter Falcon from the Belgian Air Force was flying over the northwestern Brittany province in France when it dived straight into a farm field. The aircraft was coming from Ferrand, Belgium, on its way to a French airbase at Lambiway in Morbihan. As it went down, its two pilots were able to eject, but one of them remained dangling from a 250,000 volt power line for two hours as his parachute strappings got entangled in it. A resident in the area recounted the experience, quote, We were in the garden. There were aircraft passing overhead, over the trees. We heard a loud bang and the noise of metal tearing. A few moments later, there was a second explosion and more tearing metal. Then, silence. A legend aircraft. The F-16 Fighter Falcon was originally developed by General Dynamics for the U.S. Air Force in the 1970s. In 1993, General Dynamics was acquired by Lockheed Martin, which has produced the model to this day. During its decades in service, the Falcon evolved from an air superiority day fighter jet to an all-weather multi-role war aircraft. It features a frameless bubble canopy, a side-mounted control stick for maneuverability, and ejection seats reclined 30 degrees to reduce the G-forces on the pilot. Designed to be the most agile aircraft of its time, it was the first to use a relaxed static stability and fly-by-wire control system. Over 4,600 Falcons have been built throughout its four decades of service, and over 25 countries have used the Falcon for their air forces, including Norway, Denmark, and the Netherlands. Belgium was one of its first overseas buyers, and around 60 F-16s were on service with the Belgian Air Force by 2019. The Crash An F-16 fighter Falcon from the Belgian Air Force was flying at 1,500 feet on September 19, 2019. The aircraft was performing a practice flight from Belgium to a French airbase at Lambiway in Morbihan, France. When the fighter was merely 20 miles from the base, it suddenly went into a dive and crashed down between the towns of Pruvigny and Landol. The two pilots managed to eject before the impact. One of them landed with minor injuries and was eventually retrieved from the ground, but the other got stuck in a high-tension electricity line. Authorities swiftly launched a crisis management operation with 40 firefighters and 20 rescue vehicles. They also secured a 500-meter perimeter around the crash site. The pilot was hanging from his parachute, stuck in a 250,000-volt power line, so the emergency workers had to cut off the power in the area to extract him. General Major Vancina stated, quote, They needed time to free him. They had to cut the electric current, but I've been on the phone to him, and he says he feels fine. The prefecture of Morbihan eventually confirmed that the firefighters had safely rescued the hanging pilot. Both airmen were treated by emergency workers before being taken to a nearby hospital. They were then treated for light injuries and released shortly after. During the fall, the Falcon narrowly missed a house. Its wings sliced the roof and facade of the Koffer family home and then plunged into a neighboring farm field. Ludovic Koffer reported he was at work when the accident happened, but his parents were home. Quote, My mother is in shock. My father is too. The most important thing is that everyone is okay. The outer shed was in flames, as were many surrounding trees and the crash site. Fifteen people were evacuated from eight homes surrounding the area as a precautionary measure, but firefighters quickly controlled the situation. Fortunately, the incident didn't result in any casualties. Investigation A hundred police officers surrounded the area and examined the site, including the aircraft's cargo. But the Falcon was flying unarmed. The Belgian Defense Ministry led the investigation and sent experts to the crash site, but the reasons behind the incident were not immediately disclosed. Belgium had already announced its plans to replace the F-16 with a newer model, the F-35. But even though this Falcon had been commissioned in 1983, it had been modernized and approved for flying before taking off. 
but it was later revealed by the head of the Air Force that the pilot had indeed reported a problem with the engine during the flight and had tried to restart it. The maneuver was unsuccessful. Thank you for watching our video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels for more anecdotes and stories from around the world.